Hello, shiny one. Welcome back. So, we let it work for us. You let it work for you. You let the law of attraction do what it does. You have a desire and you would like that in your life. And so, as soon as you have that desire, it's already working for you. You don't have to do anything. What gets in the way is the asserting within the self. It doesn't, it's not happening all yet. Maybe you've been working with this for some time now. And it's just not happening yet. And you're going at it day after day after day after day. You just know. There's what the trust and faith is all about. You just know when you go at this. That's part of, of the allowing. The art of allowing. Is that you just know. You have faith that that's how the law of attraction works. That as soon as you, as you have a desire for something. It's manifesting. It's on its way. And so it's not a time to create. Because we tend to maybe get into a foul mood or uh, we get too focused on it and uh, that's not a time to actually be creative and you might feel down about yourself when you're not creating like oh I'm just not in a flow or I feel sad and depressed or whatever because again uh, whatever we're doing with our thoughts and uh, it charges an emotion so it's going to draw that to you it takes a focused awareness it takes assembly it takes practice uh, but it's not the type of effort where you have to go anywhere. It's all happening within the self. And it's a moment-to-moment -moment practice for everything that happens at every single moment. Uh, it's wonderful. You allow it to work for you. You allow the flow of the moment of the day to unravel and do its thing. On the way here, uh, before making this video today, there was a rush. I don't, I've never seen so many deer cross the road. There must have been at least 30 deer of all ages just crossing the road, taking their time. And uh, I'm just noticing the flow before I got here of how I was slowed down and I was stopped to see such beautiful, such a beautiful scenery. So uh, that was nice to see. Um, so we allow the flow instead of rushing to get somewhere and to get to happen, make it happen. It's not a good time to create when you're not feeling well and you allow yourself to feel like you've taken a few steps back. You cannot not be not well. It's impossible. It's a mind-made thing when you start going in your mind, it charges emotions and all of a sudden you feel not well. Uh, but again, it's all happening in your mind. And so what we do is we get through uh, distractions. Get on with something, get on doing something else, allow it to do its thing. Uh, and again, the law of attraction, it's a law. It's already doing it and you, that's where the trust. You trust and have faith that as a creator, as a conscious creator, whatever you desire, that uh, will eventually manifest but again the frequencies in which we want sometimes we're not ready we want it to be this to be that version which we see in our mind's eye today and uh, it's kind of takes a little weight off to realize that you know what I may not be ready today and that's okay because I know whatever I'm doing my calibration today and into tomorrow, whatever it goes into, eventually it comes. And then as the resistance lets go and, and you let off a little bit more of that, that frees up the space. And it's amazing because it appears quicker. Uh, so you just allow, uh, you know, the universe or you, you allow that source energy to work for you. We could call it all sorts of things, but it's happening within the self. We're creator beings. If we're creating unconsciously, it's meaning that we're allowing our thoughts and our emotions to get the, the better half of us. And that's the whole thing about alchemy and understanding how the law of attraction works. It humbles you out. It makes you, you know, stay with an emotion that you may not want to stay with and you'll get sick of it. <laughs> You'll get so depressed and so sad and cry so much about the same old thing, the same old thing over and over again. And it'll happen and it'll get to that one point, that one day, you'll just get so sick of it. And then you'll have no choice but to literally distract yourself and get on to something else. It's amazing how this works. Um, and again, some, some of you, it's not easy. Uh, during the shift, there's times when there's going to be a lot of uh, anxiety. And that's where you hear, hear about the Schumann frequencies on the rise, and um, there'll be fluctuations. Uh, there's a lot of quaking and shaking on the earth. The climate's shifting. We're shifting. Everybody should. We're all part of it. We're part. We are the world. So, 
we're shifting with it and there's going to be heightened anxieties and there's also pressures too because of the social uh, structures of the dismantling and the rebuilding of new ones that match the newer frequencies based on well-being uh, but for now like with anything uh, when things get tough then prices go up and uh, you know inflation happens and your prices your wallet may be getting any fatter you know your job's not paying anymore so there's a lot of anxiety flowing through the air with this too with humans just moving around not realizing that they're creating the reality their thoughts and their emotions are getting the better of them we're all in this together really we literally are in a system that is based off of the financial institutions that you know we're tend to take on all of it like we need to save the day somehow like with our thinking like the negative thinking or the anxiety is going to do some kind of show us some kind of wisdom that's going to uh, resolve the situation we're just moving through these times and like all times they do this too shall pass uh, ask and you shall receive well I mean that is the law of attraction ask ask and then of course be grateful every day when we wake up today is a good day we say today is a good day today is a good day tomorrow again today is a good day as soon as tomorrow comes it's today again so today is always a good day regardless of what's happening around us we can uh, you know get the better half of the whole world conditional ways to get you know ahead of us or we can get ahead of it by uh, you know seeing and projecting into this tomorrow where we would like ourselves in the world to be uh, you know it, it, most of what happens out in the world has very little to do with you has very little to do with the individual but we again because we're all connected it is a network that's why it's kind of it's confusing uh, but when you take care of yourself then you're taking care of the network and it's again amazing how this works uh, being selfish is taking care of the self first and you can be there for others. It's not a bad thing being selfish. It's only when you allow your ego to hoard, you know, and uh, try to become uh, more better than or worse than another individual. No better, no worse. Uh, the shift is making it so that it's getting tighter and tighter as far as free will for the individual. Um, what you have been doing within yourself, getting away with within yourself. Uh, you know, the health of the individual is starting to get tested because of this too. Because again, everything's connected. And mind over matter. This is big. This is why we always talk about alchemy. And we're going to still and continue to talk about uh, ask and you shall receive. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Everything. You'd be so grateful for everything. I'm so grateful that you're listening to this. I'm so grateful that I have the equipment to record this and uh, that I'm he healthy today and I can present these materials to you and uh, I woke up with confidence and seniority and, and then I've continued to do this I am grateful that my health is good right and I have the food and the water is clean I'm grateful for the, all the men and women and everyone nature and everybody that's part of this network that brought us all of this today uh, in order for me to do and be here in this moment right now excuse me I am very grateful for the moisture. Again, you can hear it in the background. We got some snow. I'm grateful for this because it's we're in a dry, a dry period right now. I'm in a dry climate. I'm grateful for uh, the systems that are working that deliver us the food and the water, and that we can sustain our health and we have the nutrients and we have so much abundance of technology and and ways that we can treat ourselves in kind. And the money always follows. It's amazing. As soon as you make a decision on uh, doing something for yourself, something happens. And that is allowing. That is a beautiful uh, example of saying, hey, I made a decision. I'm just going to wait. Now, it's not so passive. Again, it's not asserting and pushing and going, okay, it hasn't come yet. And, and all of a sudden, it's not working. We stay with it. You stay with it. Stay with it. Positive affirmation. Today is a good day. Today is a day where I'll have a better point of attraction for myself, where I'll listen to my guidance system a lot more because I trust in the higher frequencies and I trust that I am not alone, even though I may spend a lot of time alone. Or say, maybe you have family around you or friends or coworkers or you're busy with people around you all the time. But truly, we're never alone. Uh, maybe you need more alone time. And then you start having that awareness of, right now everyone's around us your ancestors 
beings of light, frequencies overseeing this whole show as we continue to, uh, you know, uh, work at building a whole new world. And uh, we're kind of constructing it, not necessarily uh, in the physical realms per se, because we're doing this magical work in the alchemy is when we're working with thoughts that you can't see, right? Thoughts are things, they become things, but we're working with something of the unseen. And as we move it, we start moving with the flow and it feels good. We get in a feel of feeling first, feeling good, and then we set an intention for what we'd like for ourselves. And in that flow, things start manifesting. It starts with the little things. Okay, so let it work for you. Just uh, in this message today, again, tomorrow's energy is going to be different. Let it work for you. Let whatever is happening at the moment, uh, regardless of yesterday or tomorrow, uh, today, right, and, and yes, the last hour from now or um, hour from, or hour ago, let it work for you in this moment, moment to moment basis, and don't go too far with that. Emotions can really get sticky in these times because we're, you know, in a, we're in it and the shift is on. Um, I'll continue to give these messages on pretty much on a daily basis, so I will speak with you tomorrow. You take care. Thank you so much. Namaste.